and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening to be fought over three, three minute rounds and the amateur mixed martial arts rules in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a mixed martial arts record of two victory, three defeats. Representing ITC, Sukata! Please welcome Omar! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, making his in cage debut, representing Team Jungle. Griffin! Our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Dean Weir. The heavyweights have landed, Brad. Got a heavy, heavyweight amateur contest. Omar Frederick in the blue corner facing Daniel Griffin, fighting in the red corner. It's time to sound that unit alarm. Omar Frederick taking this fight on short notice. He's previously competed in middleweight for us here at FCC. Good Lord. Well, he's in there with a natural looking heavyweight at the moment who seems to be happy to pepper out that jab and land the outside leg kick at the moment. Yeah, Frederick's had a bit of bad luck here in FCC. Uh, I, I believe uh, a couple of injuries in, in his last two fights in FCC oh. um, prevented him from picking up victories that he may very well have attained. Well, Daniel Griffin fighting out of Team Chongai, famed for being the, uh, the gym of Sean Hampton, former FCC light heavyweight amateur champion, back on as a pro tonight. We're all looking forward to the return of uh, an FCC favorite later on. I'm sure Sean will be looking all with a vested interest in this contest. Well, Frederick now working out of that, trying to get a better position out of the half guard into side control. And Daniel rolls a little bit, but this is not a good position to be in with a man the size of Omar Frederick in, in top control. Absolutely not. Steve Frederick uh, spends a lot of his time in grappling comps as well, so you've got to believe he's more than comfortable and happy to be in this position. Right. And we're just seeing that little bit of a, of a skill gap there already in terms of his ability to control the position. That's a big man he's trying to... Oh! Look, tried for the, look for the back take there. Pulls guard instead. Watch the armbar coming yeah, here, Steve. Yeah, that arm's coming up. Oh, and there it is! Rope, surely no. goes belly down. I think he's got... I think that elbow is just about... Pass though, I think he can. If he pulls out, he's free. Yeah, good work from Daniel Griffin there. Excellent. Did everything right. Stepped over, pulled the arm free, passed the fulcrum position. And now he's working the Americana. Not something we see very often in MMA. The Americana could use it to switch for an armbar if Frederick bucks his way out. Now Omar, again, we see how Omar is going to have to battle the way Daniel did to get out of the position, but. Dan on very high up on the chest, lots of weight across the chest, across the face. I'd be surprised to see Frederick get submitted from this position, Steve. We know he's got good grappling Whoa, shots, but Daniel Griffin got that cranking forward. that arm. Oh, nice by, that's just a little bit of strength, I think, there from Frederick, saving him there, but straight into the full mount, and that is a big guy sitting on your chest, raining down shots at the moment. Yeah, I mean, not, not a lot of these punches landing cleanly. The referee taking a good look at it. Frederick keeping his head moving, yeah, keeping that guard up. Couple of shots getting through here. How long could Daniel Griffin keep up this output? Final 10 seconds of the round. Referee Dean Weir taking a close look at this one. Frederick taking some big shots here, Steve. Oh, second. And you saw the look of despair on the face of Daniel Griffin who put his foot on the gas there. Frederick, though, survives the round and will fight another day. Um, perhaps not, Steve. Perhaps not. Exhaustion, tired. Well, we know my Frederick took this fight very short notice. I believe just uh, a few days prior to the fight taking place. And it's not looking, it's not looking good here, Steve, it has to be said. Hasn't Omar he, Frederick hasn't, hasn't stood up yet. Hasn't even been. That fight's been called off. Your winner, what is that? A technical submission, TKO? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a TKO via retirement between rounds. Uh, that's how it'll be officially recorded. 
Oh my Frederick, uh, I'm not sure if it's exhaustion or, or, or there's an injury uh, being picked up there. Uh, medical staff taking care of him now, obviously. Fighter safety, a number one priority. Great show of respect here from Daniel Griffin as well. Checking his opponents okay. Obviously, we uh, w we hope Omar's all right here. He gets to his feet. But hey, you know, props to the guy. He, he took a fight. The guy, the guys fought here at middleweight before. He took a yeah. fight against the heavyweight in a few days' notice. Props to Omar Frederick, but congratulations to Daniel Griffin. And hey, he earned that victory. Yeah. He put his foot on the gas for the final 10 seconds of that round. Five more seconds. Maybe that one's stopped by the referee. Absolutely. I mean, the referee was talking to him. Hand it over to our MC. Ladies and gentlemen, our contest comes to a close between the first and second rounds. Your winner by TKO in the red corner, Danny Greppe. And let's hear it for his opponent. Give it up for Omar Frederick.